Hello and welcome back to Mark's House and Garden UK where it's time to wander down to the wildlife pond at night and check in on the baby newts, otherwise known as efts. And if you've been following my channel you'll know that we've been observing these baby newts since they were eggs in actual fact uh, and that was way back in the springtime when I observed great crested newts in the water breeding and laying eggs and those eggs hatched into these little efts which at first were no bigger than about a centimetre long well now in July mid-July in actual fact they've grown into almost fully sized newts but they still have their uh, their gills so they're not quite ready to emerge from the water yet I've got my uh, waterproof um, camera case on on my camera at the moment so we will be able to venture underneath the water surface and have a look uh, when the camera goes underneath the water surface I'll have to stop talking because it doesn't pick up the microphone but that's what we'll do we'll go and have a look and we'll try and get some footage of these efts as they are now in July several months after hatching so I'll get closer to the water and I'll see if I can spot one and then we'll try and get closer and closer to it. Now I can see them and I don't know if you can but there is one down there next to this rock and there are a couple down there on the bottom of the pond um, and those are the ones we'll attempt to get close to and get some footage of. There's actually one here uh, in slightly shallower water. I've not put the camera underneath the water's surface yet and there's another one in again in slightly shallower water and um, looks as if it's almost ready to emerge that one but it's not going to emerge yet because you can see if you look closely um, there are still gills now I have to occasionally take the torch off the water surface and press a button on top of the camera because the screen goes blank and it stops me from seeing what the camera's seeing right so there's one there and there's another one just here next to this stone we've still not gone underneath the water surface which is why you can still hear me but i hope you can see that one there and uh, i'll see if i can point out there's one there look on that rock and you can see it's got four legs and it's newt shaped so it's got all the features of a fully developed newt but it still has its gills and you can hopefully see its legs moving in the torchlight there is another one just underneath the the weeds there's a clump of weeds um i am going to go underneath the water in a moment but um with my camera but i just want to exhaust any opportunities in this shallow water where i can show you the newts and continue talking to you and there's quite a large one down there so that can be um, the object of our exercise tonight let's see if we can go under the water's surface again down here underneath the water surface are a couple of quite well developed efts uh, and as the camera approached it shot off it obviously saw the camera approaching and decided to take evasive action so again we'll just look for another one that's a bit close enough for us to observe let me see if we can go down again under the water surface and get some underwater eft action get that on camera I've just lifted the camera out of the water again to to speak to you because I'm I'm not sure whether the the microphone works as soon as the the camera goes underneath the pond surface. So I hope we've just had some lovely footage of an eft then. 
I feel that we probably did. It was just hanging in the water, in the shallows. Um, I'm going to now just have a wander around the pond and see if I can see any toads. So bear with me while I go and venture around the other side with the torch to see if we can get some toad footage. Toads have been more common in my pond than frogs, which surprises me because when I was a child, frogs used to be super abundant in all the park ponds near where I used to live. And now it seems to be toads. Now, I've just stopped on this side of the pond and there are two toads here. Now. And here is a baby toad. Let me just get down there so that we can see him or her. There's a little baby one just there moving around and there was another one there a moment ago but i think it got disturbed by the torchlight so there's two let's have a look over here little toady face there can you see underneath that blade of grass bufo bufo the latin name for toad i can see um underneath its jaw it's sort of breathing almost wonderful Gorgeous little creatures, actually. But there we are. We've seen one quite quite up close in in good light. So I'm hoping that you you'll be able to see that as well. Mm -hmm. 